everyone so today i have red hair or a red wig so i just filmed a this wig review and now i'm going to do an unboxing a new unboxing from primor yeah that's right so let's see what i got here dun, dun, dun. I really am loving Primor because it's such a fast service, it's amazing. Like, I just ordered this on Monday and it's Wednesday, so it's amazing. Sometimes I buy stuff from Porto and it gets here like three weeks later. I got this from Spain and it's here in less than three days, amazing. So. Open again a lot of this bubble thingy. Bubble thingy. Ooh. Oh, the bill. Great. Because I don't even remember what I got anymore. Oh, I remember what I got. Actually, I got this because I wanted to get one product. But then I saw, oh, I might just, might just as well do the 20 euros and get the free shipping and get some other stuff I want to try and other brands. So, I get more bubble wrap than products. Woo! They are jumping around! So this is just going to be the... Oh, cool! The unboxing and a few uh, swatches. So let's see, the first thing I got is the L'Oreal Magic Nude. It has been a while, I wanted to try this foundation for a long, long while. But And when I go to the... I'm kind of scared to try things because I, I'm a fair skin. And trying foundation without being able to swatch it, it scares me a bit. And Every time I went to the drugstore, I just found the shade 03 and I thought, okay, this just might be a bit dark for me and thank god I didn't get it because I just spent money because I went to L'Oreal's website and I saw that there was also shade 01 and 02 so I got the 01 and I want to open it so bad I actually want to order Tony Moly's cushion foundations as well and niches but again I'm also always scared because Ooh, shades so ooh, we get this cute mirror and this sponge it's kind of fluffy and now I open this ooh, a seal I'm just going to to Take a sneak peek, okay? Because I'm not going to wear this. Let's see. Ooh! Cute! Perfect! Oof. I think this is just the perfect shade for me because I see nothing on my skin. I'm just seeing what's on the lid. So, I can't wait to actually try this. Now I have a few eyeshadow palettes. This one. Okay, it's sealed. This one is from the collection, the Purple Eye Palette. Ta -da. It has nine shades. And I'm just going to... And I'm going to swatch it here in my arm. Okay. Oh no, it's like six, seven, eight shades in an highlighter. The highlighter comes also sealed. So this, I'm going to swatch the number ones first. And this one has no pigmentation whatsoever. It's this. You can't see it. This number one also sucks, and this number one also sucks. Can you see it? I can barely see it, and it's in my arm. 
So let's see the number twos. I mean, it sucks, but it I it just might work as a highlighter. So now for the number twos. Okay. Better, not perfect, but eh. now the number threes. Okay, it's safe to say that thank God this was almost for free because watercolors have more pigmentation than this. But I think that for a soft look, it just might work. Now let's see the highlighter. Oh, the highlighter is creamy. That's why it came sealed. Oh, the highlighter is kind of good. Okay, not perfect. This is the highlighter. Ta-da! It also comes with sponges to apply, but so far, bad. Now let's see the ones I'm actually excited about. These three ones are from... wait, three? I thought I only got two. Maybe there were three. Whoa. These three are from Makeup Academy. I've been hearing a couple of things about this brand. And I got kind of curious and they were on sale. So why not try this brand? And as usual, I suck opening things. So, this one is a brown palette. It comes with two applying sponges, which I'm going to put somewhere because I don't really use these kind of sponges. And I'm just going to swatch them. I'm going to start here from there. Ooh! Okay guys, I'm like falling in love with this palette because I love brown shades, especially for steampunk. I got used to wear browns for steampunk cosplay and I love brown shades and I don't have more space to swatch. So, brown palette, I present you my arm, because, as usual, I suck at this. Ha! Ta-da! They're not all perfect, but they do have a good pigmentation, and I'm liking this, and I'm in love with these copper colors I found. So, so far, can't wait to try it on. So this one is the Heaven and Earth palette. Now on to the next palette. This is Starry Night and this was $1.99 so yay. Again I suck at this. So it comes with this blank sponge also and this has pinky and greys and blues and purples and I'm going to start swatching this and I'm going to swatch here now to see if I can do this better because I suck at swatches. <sighs> can you see it? Oh my god I love this purple. This purple would look amazing with this wig. The grey is not that cool. <laughs> This pink. You can't see it as much. I'm going to. Oh, so pretty. Okay. 
I'm actually falling in love with this. I think I want all of Makeup Academy's palettes now. I mean all of them, because... Oh my god... They are all kind of shimmery, as you can see, but the pigmentation is amazing. And I think that these palettes with maybe some more less shimmery palettes will work. Maybe with this one. Just use this one as a base and this one's to pop my eyes. Really cool. Really loving. So far, moving on to the third palette. This is also kind of brownish and stuff and it apparently is the hall of fame and it's the 12 most popular shades from makeup academy uh, i guess so let's swatch this again this seemed kind of shimmery i didn't note that notice that on the website Ta -da. 12 shades applying thingy so Let's see how this works on my skin. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I wasn't expecting this to be that good because I don't hear that much about this brand. Here in Portugal, even, I don't hear that much. They are so creamy and soft and apply so well and so pigmented I mean I am kind of scared whoa what happened out there is sun the sun just came out and it wasn't tomorrow it was today <laughs> they're just so shimmery but the light colors are really light and soft obviously but the most intense colors it's just a great pigmentation. I actually love the shimmer. I'm not scared of using shimmering stuff in my eyes because usually the rest of the makeup is not shimmery. But I really am loving this because it will be a nice change because most of my eye colors are blah because the shimmery ones actually are kind of old already. That's why I bought these palettes because I needed to uh, change the ones I had. They are over two years now, so yeah, change. So, so far so good. These three palettes are a win, but I'm still going to do the, the review in a couple of weeks. Okay, so just stay tuned for the update from this unboxing. Next, I got the W7 Lash Testic False Liquid Lashes. This is going to be a, an adventure because it's been years since I last tried a mascara. The last one I tried came with a few packs. I tried Guillons. I hated it. I tried... A couple other brands and I hated them and I just use Essence but I tried a few products from W7 and I loved it so why not try this one out and I haven't heard much about it okay so this is the wand and I'm going to try this out this is the blackest black, so it says, and well, it says it's false liquid lashes, so let's see how it works. I have no mascara today, and I have kind of long lashes, but they're not black, 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 so I might just try this out on the weekend and see how it goes. As usual, Primor gives me a little gift and it's from Makeup Academy as well. I, it just might be because of so much Makeup Academy stuff. And it's an eye dust. I think it's another Whew, wig. I would say it, um, pigment or something. How do I open this? 
Oh, here. Okay, so I found. I think I found it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the same color. They gave to me on my last order this... Uh, loose high shadow in purple. Oh, this kind of purple, kind of black, something. But it's not shimmery. It's kind of opaque. I don't understand if this is purple or is black or it's like burgundy. Let's see. It's the shade 6. Oh, thank you. This helps a lot because obviously whole colors have numbers and Yeah, I think this is kind of a dark purple. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of, I don't, I'm ah. I hate having to distinguish colors. So yeah, this is it. I tr I'll try it on one of these days. I have never worked with loose high shadows, so this is going to be an adventure. So this is it. This is my unboxing from the first unboxing. Well, actually the first makeup unboxing of the year. The second un unboxing of the year in general and i hope to be back in a couple of weeks with my reviews on all this and i'm really excited to try the, the eyeshadows on and to try the the foundation as well so don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the updates on my channel and to follow me on my social media networks because Sometimes I have little sneak peeks over there and you can also find uh, follow my daily life when I have one <laughs> over Instagram and uh, Instagram stories. I'm not using Snapchat anymore. I just fell in love with Instagram stories because I didn't like Snapchat that much. So since I have everything on one app, why use two? Thank you, Facebook, <laughs> for kicking in snapshots but